Oh, hello future internet superstar musician types. My name is Nicholas Semrod, and today I will be introducing you to using the song Happy Birthday. Tutorials by Nicholas Semrod. So for today's drill, we will be taking the song Happy Birthday and we'll be playing it in the easy key of C. What I'll be doing for this drill is keeping the melody exactly the same and each time the melody moves we're going to take the bass note and move it down a half step and come up with a brand new chord to play. Let me show you an example of what I'll be doing. Okay, so to start this drill off, we will be thinking about the melody in the key of C. So G, G, A, G, C, B. And each time we move the melody note, we're going to go from wherever we started, which in this drill can be anywhere, but we will start the key of C. And each time we move the melody note, we'll be moving a half step down. So if I do it slowly, just with the bass notes and the melody notes, it sounds like this. You've probably heard me say before, either in lessons or tutorials, about how I believe any bass note can be combined with any melody note, and there will always be an option of a chord to play. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop on every combination of bass and melody note and come up with a new chord. So if we start with G in the melody and C in the bass, we have to come up with a chord that fits those parameters. So we can play C triad, C major 7, C7. We can turn this into a Lionel Richie ballad and play an F major with a 9 on top over C. Whatever you want to do. For this example, we're going to stick with C major 7. And each time you pick a chord, remember which chord you picked so we can come up with a movement that we can practice over and over. So C major 7. Okay, so now if we move to the next one, we have G in the melody, B in the bass. Here we can play a G triad over B. Or we could play what I call a church B, which is a G triad over a B7. Or we could play some sort of B minor chord with a G on top. So B minor with a flat six on top. For this one, we'll go with churchy B. Okay, so, so far we have C major seven, churchy B. Now we have A in the melody, B flat in the bass. That seems like a pretty easy B flat major seven call. And as we go on, we'll continue to make these kind of choices. Now again, you don't have to pick the chords that I pick. If you don't like churchy B, don't play churchy B. But you can use your own choices, you know, so you could play minor. Whatever you want to play. So as we keep going, I will play C major seven, churchy B, B flat major seven, a minor 7, A flat major 7, G major 7. Now so far, the thing that makes this interesting is that all of these chords actually mess up the original key center of the tune. If I play this in the original way, everything is kind of in the key of C. Even if we're changing chords underneath, it still has this C major vibe, whereas in this version, especially this chord, when I resolve on it, we have this G major thing that we can mess around with, so it puts us in a different world momentarily. Okay, so I'll keep going. F sharp, 13 flat 9. F 13 with a 9 on top, or 6, 9. E sus, E flat major 7, D minor, D flat major 7, C major 7, true to B, C over B flat, A major, A flat major, G major 7, F sharp minor 7 with a B, or F sharp regular minor 7, F13, D flat triad over E, C triad over E flat, this is kind of the darkest one we've done, D minor 7, 
B flat over D flat seven. And then end on a good old whatever kind of blues lick. Um, it doesn't have to be musical as evidenced by whatever the hell that was. So anyway, feel free to make your own choices here. You know, if you hear a better chord than the terrible blues chord that I played at the end, do whatever you want to do. But this practice drill is meant, rather than to be musical, more to train your brain to get used to the fact that you can have any bass note, any melody note, and you can put some sort of chord in there. So we're just getting used to putting chords in weird situations. The cool thing about this drill is that once you master it going down, you can continue to make the drill a little bit tougher by changing directions. So next time we do it, maybe we go up chromatically. Um, we can also do something where you start messing up the bass patterns a little bit. So you could go whole step down, half step up. Or you could come up with weirder patterns of your own, whatever you want to do. But either way, we're just coming up with multiple ways to interact with a melody that stays true to the original key and a bass pattern in which moves and then we can constantly readjust to the new parameters that we have. So mess around with this, tag me in your videos, send me emails, hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, whatever you want to do. I want to see what chords you're coming up with. And if you liked this video, please hit that like button right below this and share this video, subscribe to this channel, and tell all your friends that I'll be doing a lot more of these tutorials. We'll do some stuff for beginners, we'll do some stuff for some advanced students, we're going to be touching everything from reharmonization to rhythm to whatever you guys asked me to learn about. So thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope to see you guys all soon.